So, the helminth parasites. You know that helminths means it can be platyhelminthes or nematoda. Phylum platyhelminthes first we'll see. So, there is a parasite by name Fasciola hepatica. Fasciola hepatica is a parasite. It is belonging to Trematoda and commonly called sheep liver flu. One of the commonly studied example here. Sheep are affected by fasciola hepatica. Whereas a snail, a molluscan will act as another host. But main host is sheep. It livers. Liver is the main organ affected here. So we call it hepatica. Hepatic means liver. It is living in the bile ducts and other parts of liver. So it causes uh, liver related problems and digestive problems. Second one, Cystosoma. Cystosoma is a genus name. In this Cystosoma hematobium, there are other species also in the same genus. Cystosoma mansoni, Cystosoma japonicum, Cystosoma mansoni and Cystosoma japonicum. This parasite is known as blood fluke of man. This one is sheep liver fluke. This is blood fluke of man. So, this is living in some of the blood vessels close to urinary bladder or hepatic portal system. It causes uh, a disease called cystosomiasis. There will be loss of blood in the urine. Blood is lost in the urine. The disease is called cystosomiasis. So, it is affecting human beings. Earlier case is not affecting human beings. But these two belong to a class called a trematoda. In both cases, secondary host means another host where young ones develop is a snail. Snail is a mollusca member. But uh, this is one rare condition in cystosoma is unisexual it is a unisexual normally flatworms are bisexual means hermaphrodites a rare exception here so there are two important tapeworms so one is called pork tapeworm other one is called beef tapeworm what happens is both of them the disease caused we call it a teniasis this is caused by adults in human beings teniasis Teniasis will cause abdominal pain, abdominal discomfort, indigestion, etc. In Tenius oleum, human being is a primary host. In human beings, it lives in small intestine. So, small intestine is a place where it is getting ready-made digested food. So, it is absorbing through general body surface. So, it is living in small intestine, absorbing food through general body surface and then tinea solium <coughs> is a pork tape form and it will have some larval forms called cysticercus larva that is spreading from pork to human being when the flesh of pig or pork is eaten which is not properly cooked then it enters human beings then it can cause uh, health problems second one tinea saginata basic structure and other details are same in both uh, their body will have a small head like structure an unsegmented structure and uh, a chain of segments called strobila for example tinea psyllium has 900 segments but all segments are proglottids they come under strobila but what is difference in tinea saginata cattle cows buffaloes etc they act as secondary host those who consume improperly cooked flesh of beef they get this infection like this other tapeworms are also present diphyllobothrium this is called fish tapeworm diphyllobothrium is called fish tapeworm so this is uh, infecting human beings by eating improperly cooked fish so through fish humans get this infection 